Hello, how's it going? Um, I'm here today to show you what I've done with Touch OSC and um, having it work with Serato Scratch Live. The reason for this is because, well, the reason why I'm posting this video um, is because I have not seen a lot of videos explaining uh, Touch OSC layouts for Serato Scratch Live. I have seen a lot of videos posted using um, Touch OSC and Tractor, uh, uh, Ableton, um, Logic, to name a few software programs. Um, so be prepared not to be amazed. This is just something simple I made, I, I, I put together, uh, designing a custom layout for the Touch OSC program. Um, using iPad 2. Um, Touch OSC does come with a few uh, standard templates and they're they're cool um, but you know why not have your own uh, template designed for your uh, specific needs. Um, so I'll get right into it here. Um, what I've done is I have uh, eight different layouts and you select them up here uh, layout one layout two layout three four five six seven eight um, and explaining what each one is for so the first three okay are for uh, the left deck or deck one okay that's deck one for those of you who are not familiar with scratch live um, and then the next three are for deck two, okay, or the the right deck. Um, and then the sample bank, the sample players, uh, you know, your you have your air horns, uh, your Dilla horn, your gunshots, uh, your kids cheering. Um, and of course, the the one plug. Um, yeah, so for the left deck, I have my filters or my effects. This would be my low pass, my high pass, and my breaker. Uh, these are the on and off buttons for those. Um, we have loop roll, uh, auto loop roll, and then, of course, the looping itself. So from 132 going all the way up to 32 beats. Um, some of you might ask, oh, is there latency? Um, honestly, I have not noticed any latency, which is great. And of course, you know, you're using the iPad with Touch OSC wirelessly, so you could, you know, pick it up and then start dancing around if you want. Um, or, you know, you don't have to dance. Okay. But explaining <laughs> how that works uh, to get your laptop to read or communicate with uh, your iPad um, you use a program called Oscillator and uh, if you want to learn more about that you can visit the Touch OSC website on the Google machine okay moving on um, so now we have the super ultra knob and I made this guy uh, pretty big um, the main reason uh, other than why not um, I think it just looks cool, and that's it. Yeah, again, the the fun part to uh, making your own custom template. Um, yeah. Okay. Moving on, my uh, Raphael Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, looking uh, things here. Yes, I did it on purpose, and yeah, uh, Raphael is pretty cool. Okay, um, my cues you know, uh, selecting the cues and then launching them. Um, so like I said, this is for the, the next, uh, the next three in the series, which is the same as the first three for deck B. Um, and then the, the uh, sample player. Okay. And then the second, uh, sample player. So how you select them, you go from B for the second sample player and then back to A for the first sample player. Um, and I even threw in a little battery symbol here to 
let me know during my sets uh, how much charge I have on my iPad. Um, okay, so uh, I like using this because, again, for the custom template element, um, you know, I I do use a M Audio trigger finger too. Um, you know, what's nice about that is you have the velocity change. I'm not sure if you can actually change the velocity in Touch OSC. If you can, feel free to leave a comment after this video. Um, and also, I will be, you know, if you want this template or have any questions for me, um, I'll hook it up, shoot me an email, and um, yeah, we'll talk. Okay. Um, so, I'll load a track in here and uh, show you what's happening um, with the layout. Okay. And so, playing the song. So, to activate these, of course, let's start with the breaker. Oh, I have to um, act, switch it over to back to the three effects. And now I have to I have to actually turn the effects on, so so you just went on for the low pass, the high pass, and now the breaker. Okay, high pass. Okay, low pass. Uh, loop roll. Auto loop. Um, the ultra knob, super ultra knob. So when I was designing uh, the template for Touch OSC. I thought about like what are things I catch myself doing on the laptop which you know it'd be nice not to have to look at your tracks that you're selecting staring at your laptop like you're checking your email when you DJ so one big thing for me was when you're using these effects you can't activate the super ultra knob without coming over here and then turning it on I would catch myself you know using my my cursor so I said, no, not gonna happen. Let's uh, use this red button here. So now we're on the ultra knob, or super ultra knob. Roll out fast, how that works. Just a, you know, cool little effect called uh, roll out fast, okay? And then cues. Little, little glitch there, that was my bad. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. Nothing too cray. Yep, I did it. That ish cray. Um, okay. And then of course again. For some reason that never gets old. I don't know why. And of course your gunshots. Every uh, sample player needs a gunshot. Okay, uh, that is debatable. So there you have it. That's pretty much it for this uh, layout. Um, you know, it took me a little while to get comfortable using this, but um, it's fun. Like I said. Uh, if you're thinking about getting Touch OSC, I recommend it. 
it's not that expensive of a program. If you don't have an iPad, you can use your iPhone. Um, and yeah, like I said, if you have any questions, comments, and yeah, if you want my layout, uh, it's free, 99. Um, and yeah, thanks for checking this out. I will uh, catch you later. Peace.